Hey, what's going on guys? Fizz here once again, and this is going to be the Merry Fizzmas League Sentinel Edition video going over uh, the band skills, the rules, uh, how to apply, um, even like recommended builds and stuff like that since uh, the meta is going to be a little bit different in the private league. So, uh, first and foremost, what is the Merry Fizzmas Private League? This is the official announcement video for it, for this league. Basically, it's hardcore in a group HC SSF environment basically with no economy and meta skills are banned. That's a TLDR. Sorry, smack my mic a little bit. So now I'll get into the nitty gritty. Okay, so first and foremost, banned skills. What is completely prohibited? Uh, no exceptions, including leveling, because I get asked this a lot. You're not allowed to even use any of these for leveling purposes or utility, right? So banned skills. Uh, detonate dead, obviously given explosive arrow, seismic trap, exsanguinate traps, <laughs> uh, righteous fire, and spectral helix. This is the ban list this time around. Um, yes, once again, you cannot use spectral helix for leveling. It is banned, no exceptions, okay? With that in mind, before we get into the other rules, I'm going to slightly go over, uh, or lightly go over like some just recommended stuff that I have. So I have two different uh, categories for builds um, in the way I like to do build lists. I have hybrid builds and I have mappers. So hybrid builds are going to be um, good, adequate, adequate to like strong mapping while also being adequate to strong bossing, very balanced builds. Whereas mappers um, are going to very, uh, very much exceed at map speed. Now there's a lot of stuff that is in the mapping category that can do completely fine with bossing. It just requires a little bit more investment or it just excels at just speed running maps so much that it get put, it gets put into the mapping category, right? So for hybrids, we have Fire Trap, played as either an Elementalist, a Chieftain, or a Sabo. Now, personally, I don't like the Sabo variant at all. I played Elementalist to 98 in last uh, Fismus League and I had a blast with it. It was very fun, did all content on it. Um, definitely can recommend that one. It was this close to being banned. I, I personally still think it should be banned, but it didn't win the vote. Um, Absolution Necro, people want their minion fix it. Uh, obviously you can play stuff like Skellies and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff, just because it's not on the list doesn't mean it's not good or uh, that you can't play it. It's just not my personally recommended stuff. This is other stuff that maybe I would play if I wasn't playing what I am. Uh, because I personally, Skelly mages are literally just totems, bro. <laughs> They're actually just totems. So Absolution feels more of like the actual minion niche, uh, in my opinion. And I'm not like huge on Absolution, but it's kind of like the only real like easable minion build in this patch that feels good to play if you discount Skelly mages, in my opinion. Moving on, we have Vortex slash Cold Snap Cold Dot, uh, played as an occultist. Uh, I don't really like the Elementalist variant that much. I think occultist is just better. I think it's more fun to play too with Profane Bloom. Um, explosive Trap as a Sabo. Now, oh man, I... Okay, here's the thing. A lot of people are like, why are you not banning Explosive Trap? It's OP. Here's the thing. Um, I see playing Explosive Trap as a self, uh, as a form of self-harm, so... Uh, if people want to do that, that's fine. Uh, you'll be miserable doing it. It's too strong for me to not put it on the list. Um, so like maybe if you're like not super comfortable in hardcore or you just want it to be super easy, you can do that, but you will be paying for it in quality of life. It's not gonna, it's not gonna feel good. You know, <laughs> uh, just my opinion. I really don't like explosive trap, but it's too strong to not put on the list. Um, Ancestral War Chief Totems, uh, played as a chieftain. If you want to do something else, uh, totemy, and, uh, you want to, uh, not play spells, but more on the melee side of things. I think Ancestral War Chief Totems is kind of slept on in general. I think it's still a very, um, adequate build in modern PoE. And it will be nice and safe for people who are a little bit more averse to hardcore, who haven't played it very much. Moving on down the list, we have Earth Shatter, played on a Zerker, um, now, again, like I said, stuff you don't see on this list doesn't mean it's bad or not playable, but this is my like recommended league starters for the private league, right? So like, uh, I think Echoes of Creation, the Echoes of Creation Slayer Slam uh, build that I did is incredibly strong, uh, but obviously it needs the helmet to function, so it's not on the starter list. So that being said, if you want to slam it start, or Shatter Zerker is a go-to, very, very strong. I played it most recently in um, I'm Exile's uh, 
make fortify great again melee only league at the end of last league uh played it to like 97 or 98 did uh most content on it before i died and it was it was completely fine and i i didn't go spell suppression or anything i intentionally like played it on hard mode i wanted i wanted to not abuse any op stuff in terms of like defenses and whatnot i i played it old school uh toxic rain champ this this is still fine it can uh it can work it's still uh, pretty strong. It just requires a little bit more investment than it did in the past to get going. And is still a good alternative for people who want to play like a bow dot skill or just dot in general. You know, you're a champ, you get graced, ghost routes, determination, defiance banner, you're going to be super tanky. And uh, it'll feel pretty comfortable. And if you, uh, you know, scale it up a little bit, you'll be able to boss pretty comfortably as well. Now mappers, these are the, these are the zoomers, okay? And again, the, most of these aren't incapable of bossing. They just require a little bit more investment to get to that point. So uh, this is the exception. Poisonous Concoction Occultist is ungodly fast. It is ridiculously zoomy. Um, but it can't boss like at all. It's terrible. So if you, if you want to like zoom, 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 that's all you want to do is run maps as fast as possible. This is one of the best contenders to do that with. Just keep in mind, there's kind of like a hard cap on that build. You're not going to be doing much bossing. Shield Crush Bleed. Uh, this is just if you want to play like dot melee. Um, I didn't really want to put Shield Crush on the list at all, but it does fill a niche. And you can still zoom maps with this. I would say this kind of, you can boss on this, but it's not going to be comfortable. Um, now moving on down the list here, Blade Fall, Blade Blast, Poison, uh, played on an Occultist. This is actually very similar to Poisonous Concoction, except you're trading just a little bit of clear speed for more, uh, single target and the ability to boss. So, uh, probably overall, if you want a more balanced character, uh, this is going to be stronger than the Poisonous Concoction. Um, but it just comes down to what you prefer because this is a one, two play style. And if you don't care about bossing anyway, and you just want a map, then Poisonous Concoction is probably the way to go. Now, uh, Spark played on a Inquisitor, you know, as you do, it's like super meta at this point, or um, with Totems on a Hierophant. I think if you want to play spell-based Totems, Spark is probably your best bet. It's really, really strong right now. Uh, now, moving on to what I'm starting, um, Bone Shatter. Uh, this is one of those skills that the more I play it, the more I like it. It was a very slow burn for me, a lot like Slams were uh, when they got introduced in the game. Um, I hated it the first time I played it. Decided to revisit it later on due to peer pressure. And then every time I've played it since, I like it more and more and more. Um, so I've been really looking forward to the private league just to play Bone Chatter again. It's really fun. The precise technique variant um, really adds a very high ceiling in terms of gearing. So there's a lot there to keep you busy. Uh, it maps really fast. Once you gear it up, it can be a pretty good boss or two. It can be pretty comfortable for bossing. And yeah, it's just a pretty comfy play style. It's very satisfying to clunk and see the whole screen disappear. Um, yeah, definitely recommend this one if you haven't tried out Bone Shatter yet. Very, very fun. Lastly on the list, we have Hex Blast Ignite. Um, if you want to play an Ignite or a dot-based build that isn't Fire Trap or, you know, Toxic Rain or something, because there are a lot of dot skills on this list. No surprise there, right? Uh, Hex Blast Ignite. So this is something, again, this can definitely boss, but I put it in the mapping category just because uh, it can map really fast, honestly. Uh, it's just a very solid ignite skill um, with no DD ignite. This is probably the best version of ignite you can probably play um, outside of like if you decide to play fire trap going the um, the like on hit or well not on hit because it's like scaling burning ground damage, but like the burning ground ignite hybrid. But that's not like pure ignite um, because if the you know, it's like when I played it, it was like a 60 40 split between the ignite and the, the burning ground that the fire trap leaves in terms of the damage. Uh, so like if the boss teleported out of the burning ground or the monster goes out of the burning ground, you technically lose 40% of your damage. So this would just, you know, you don't have that problem with the actual full ignite skill. You know, if the boss runs around, does whatever, it doesn't actually matter because you're still getting all your damage. All right. So that's all the builds out of the way. Uh, and again, one friendly reminder, all the stuff on the ban list is banned no matter what. Just to reiterate it one last time. So. There's some new rules coming into uh, this version of the league that will hopefully make everything a little bit more coordinated and help people uh, item share a little bit more effectively. Um, so 
everyone participating in the private league must verify themselves in the league verification channel by listing their poe account name after which your discord name will be changed to include the name for the duration of the private league to make gear gear sharing and player tracking easier and more organized if you do not verify your poe account name in the channel your invite will not be accepted so anyone who wants to play in the private league you must first join the discord the links will be down in the description and when you join, you want to go into this channel, this league verification channel right here. And all you're going to do is what you see everyone else here have done. They just type their POE account name uh, in this channel. That's all you got to do. And then we will manually flag you. Um, if you're, We won't change your Discord name, but if your POE account name does not match your Discord name, we will add your POE account name in parentheses. That way someone can go up into the search bar and search you. Um, or find you in the sidebar or whatever or at you in the um, the private league uh, item channel Just to help uh, keep things organized so people aren't like constantly chasing each other around because in the past leagues It was basically just global chat Not a lot of people were utilizing the discord or utilizing the trade site. So this this league it is going to be mandatory I really want to push it. I think it'll be more fun for everybody uh, if everyone is playing um, according to the system now uh, the Mary Fismas Private League is an economy-free experience. Trading is strictly forbidden. If a player attempts to charge someone else for items or services, they will be issued a warning with a second offense wording removal from the league. The league is meant to emulate a group SSF atmosphere that encourages collaboration and cooperation. Now, we have not had any problems with this at all. It's just, since I was typing up a more official rule set, I had to put all the official rules in. So yeah, if you try to, if you try to make people pay for anything, uh, one warning and removal from the league, but we've never had any issues with that at all. So, uh, wouldn't worry about it. Now, players found to be using banned skills will be removed from the league with no warnings issued. This includes during the acts or early leveling. Banned skills are banned with no exceptions. See ban list above. So this is very important. Um, because this is a little bit harder to police, that's just the reality of it. Um, and everyone who's playing in the league must join the discord you know must they they must have seen this right there is no exception for anyone to be using any of this um so there will be no warnings issued you will just be removed from the league straight up um it destroys like the integrity of of the league it, it kind of like defeats the purpose of um trying to like you know encourage people to play some like more off meta stuff and have more fun with the game if people ignore the rules and play off meta again we have not had any issues with this, but with official rules, we need official um, consequences if people break them, right? Now, uh, one last time, I'm going to reiterate, all accounts participating in the private league must verify their POE account in the league verification channel. Any applications, this is super important, any applications sent without verification after 24 hours will be denied. Now, you can reapply after verifying yourself in the Discord channel and you will be accepted, but... If you just go to the link and you apply to the private league, uh, and again, all the links are going to be down below, but if you go here and you apply to the private league and I look here for your account name, it says you're trying to join and I go to the league verification channel and you are not here, you will not be invited to the league. Okay. It's very important. This is, you must do this to play in the league. You don't have to pay. You don't have to do anything else, but you must verify your account. Okay. Now, use uh, this channel, Mary Fismus Item Sharing, to announce rare slash strong item finds that you don't need or want that could be potentially useful for someone else. So you'll just go in here. This is like a this is what like a more permanent version. So like what people would do is they we use a global channel, and uh, people just type they'll link their item in global. Say anybody want this? If they don't want it, someone throws it in their stash, and then uh, they don't put it in like a public stash for trade and then that item just might as well be deleted deleted from the game right uh because no one's ever going to see that no one's ever going to get the chance to see that so this is a little bit more permanent version um if you want you could just grab your little snip tool um put a delay on one or two seconds hover over the item in game and then uh snip you know take a small screenshot and then you can copy paste it in this channel or you can just say what you got whatever it doesn't matter um but preferably people will be using for like big stuff or like you know important stuff someone can say in this channel even that they need so and so or whatever people can list what they're looking for 
and then uh, makes it easier to you know contact people and chase people down who have items that you're interested in or vice versa right so uh that as well as using uh, the path of exile trade uh this will link directly to the private league when the private league is live however i can't link it um to the private league trade um until the private league uh actually launches so for now i can't do that but it will be trade search um mary Fismas private league instead of sentinel but uh, you can click that and then everything basically just make a dump tab uh for everything you don't want and everything goes in that dump tab listed for one C just to make it easy to search. Okay. Um, that everything will go in there for one C any item that you don't want, anything you're going to give away leveling uniques, blah, 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 blah. Just anything that you would, uh, feel comfortable or want to hand off to another player that they might be able to use at any point in, uh, their, you know, Mary Fismas journey that might benefit them. Okay. And again, you're not charging them one chaos. You're just listing it for one chaos. So there's continuity amongst the the listing so it's easy for people to just browse through them and find it maybe if they they see something they want without having something in mind um it's not like a hard fast rule but it would just it would be easier if everyone listed for one chaos all right see above post for more details on all rules including a recommended build list if you still have questions feel free to reach out to me personally or anyone on the mod team if i'm unavailable so if you guys um are still in the dark or you don't understand anything that i went over in this video feel free to reach out to me on Discord or in the comments, and I will do my best to explain it in a better way. So I will say um, the private league is being completely crowdfunded this time around. Um, we are halfway there, which is really cool considering I haven't actually announced the private league yet. There's only a few people in the private league who um, I just linked the, uh, I linked the link to it uh, like a day or two ago without like an announcement or anything like that. So this is the official announcement. This is where um, everyone's going to get in. So we're starting with um, 110 slots. Uh, if we fill up, we will crowdfund more slots. So everyone should be able to get a chance to play if they want to. Um, typical stuff though. If you're done with the league, you're not playing with the league, please do remove yourself in order to save slots. So we're not wasting people's money. Would appreciate that. One last time, I'm going to go over it. There are no mods enabled. It is literally just hardcore. It is technically a hardcore trade league because if it was SSF, no one would be able to party or trade. Um, but it is supposed to be a group HSF uh, experience, right? So hopefully I answered any questions you, you guys may have. Again, one last time, just to reiterate the importance of this, you must join the Discord. You must verify your PoE account. Just type, literally just type the name of your PoE account in this channel in order to be accepted into the private league. Okay. So if you want to join, you're just going to click the link, uh, hit like, it'll be down here somewhere, hit apply. And then you're going to join the discord, come into this channel, league verification, type in your PoE account name. I, or one of the mods will check, see someone apply to the private league, go in the league verification channel, match the names up. And accept you into the league it literally is that simple okay um and yeah that's everything so it's starting uh friday for well for me it starts uh just normal league start times it is the exact same time as every league start we have had okay so for me that's 10 a.m on a friday because i live in the middle of nowhere and no one shares my time zone right but uh just for you uh from the time of this video going up three days and three hours uh the the link to the private league will be down below so you know, you can click this for yourself and see exactly all the way down to the second how long it'll be before the league goes live. But one last time, it is just, you know, the same the same time as league launches always are, uh, just to make it easy for people. So um, that's everything with that out of the way. Um, it's almost time looking really looking really forward to it. it came out weird, but I'm looking forward to playing in the private league. Uh, I've been kind of waiting on this for a bit the past like week and a half. I've just been kind of like putzing around waiting. So the time is almost upon us. Again, if you have uh, spare points uh, and you want to help crowdfund, I do appreciate it. It is a crowdfunded event. Um, this is the first. This is the first time that I'm not just like paying for most of it out of my own pocket. Um, I can't this time around. So crowdfunding helps a lot. Um, I will obviously if like if it comes down to it and we if we don't have you know for some reason we can't crowdfund it. I will just pay the difference. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like, oh, guys, the league isn't happening because it wasn't crowdfunded. I can pay the difference and it, it's, it, you know, it, it's not going to be a big deal. So anyone who wants to, anyone who wants to play, 
Uh, don't worry about like wasting a slot or whatever. Like, cause people say like, oh, I'm not good at hardcore. I'm gonna die. You should give the, it doesn't matter. If you wanna play, just apply. You know, every everyone will get a chance to play. Don't worry about it. Um, we're just here to have fun. So that's gonna be everything. Again, one last time, if you guys have questions or anything, links to everything are gonna be down below. Feel free to reach out to me if you have questions or concerns. And I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to the league. Hopefully you guys are too. See you in the next video. Bye guys. Take it easy.